Okay, differential equations. So an equation involving derivatives is called a differential equation. All right. Now, anything involving a derivative. So dy by dx, for instance, is a derivative, yeah? We differentiated. So if you've got an equation with dy by dx in it, it's actually called a differential equation. Or dx by dt is another good example. Or dv by dt, okay? The variables can change. It doesn't have to be x and y, all right? But if you've got that in there, it's known as a differential equation. Now, to solve a differential equation, um, we've got to convert it into an equation that does not involve derivatives, okay? So the dy by dx will disappear, okay? We, we've got to get rid of it, and, and so on. Okay, that's how we solve a differential equation. Let's look at a simple type here. So number one, the gradient of the curve at the point x, y equals to this here, two bracket x squared minus one. Find the equation of the curve in the form y equals f of x, given that it passes through the point one, two. Okay, so... We're dealing with the variables x, y, and we're told that the gradient, okay, now remember the gradient is looking at how the curve changes, okay, so the slope of the curve, and we tend to refer that then as dy dx, yeah, that's what we think of the gradient as dy dx. So what we can say here with number one is that dy by dx is equal to, what it says here is equal to this, 2x squared minus 1. And what they want us to do then is to um, get the, find the equation of the curve in this form. Okay. Now, when you look at this here, what we've actually got is a differential equation. Okay. Because it meets that criteria at the top there. An equation involving derivatives is called a differential equation. While we've got a derivative here. Okay. We've got dy dx. Okay. Um, so this is a, a very simple type of differential equation. And what we've got to do then is, is to solve it, okay? And in order to solve it, we've got to have an equation that doesn't have dy dx in it. So we want to have y. And you know, okay, if we've got dy dx, to get y, we've got to just integrate, haven't we? Okay? But to get used to the style of solving differential equations, we're going to do this, right? We're going to say this. We're going to say separate... The variables we're always going to do this separate the variables okay now what i mean by that separating the variables i mean to get like the y's on one side and the x's on the other side okay so in this case here i've got dy and that's it right there's no other y's okay so it's just dy or one dy yeah because there's uh, there's nothing in front of it so we could say one dy so if I keep the y's on one side, then the dx here will obviously need to go and join its buddies over here with the x's, okay? And because we're dividing by dx, we need to take that over and times. And when we do this, when we separate this, okay? And we've got with respect to y here, with respect to x here, we had add then the integral symbols. And remember what I said then, there's, there's nothing, there's no other y terms, okay? So this just means one dy. So we can actually say that if we want, one times dy. So we, we separated the variables, y is one side, x is the other side, and then we're gonna go about integrating it, okay? Um, and we've got to integrate both sides then, okay? Now what you might find easier when it comes to integrating, okay? In, especially in this case here, because we've got this bracket multiplied by the constant two, we can take the constant outside of the integral. Okay, we're allowed to do that, and we're left then with x squared minus 1 inside that integral. Okay, so then we're going to integrate it. Okay, and we integrate both sides. Now let's think about it. What is 1 integrated with respect to y? Well, of course, if it's a constant, then it'll become y, or 1y, when you integrate it. Okay, because you're integrating with respect to y, and think what the reverse process would be. If you differentiate y, you get 1. On this side then, well, we've got a constant outside, so we can keep that 2 there, and then we need to integrate it in here. So x squared with respect to x, now remember the rule, okay? x squared will become, well, you raise the power by 1, so x cubed, divide then by that new power, and then 1 then, when you integrate that, just becomes x, or minus 1 becomes minus x, okay? And don't forget then to put plus c, okay? Const the constant of integration. Now, 
what we've got here is, is known as a general solution okay a general solution because this could apply to many situations okay um because we don't know what that constant is so it's a general solution in general they say yeah so you can apply to lots of situations but we are given boundary conditions we are saying look when x is equal to one y is equal to two okay because it goes through that point so we can substitute them in so y is two so put it in and x is one And that enables us then to work out what um, what C is. So we've got two on this side, okay? One third in there, take away one is minus two thirds, times two is minus four thirds. And that enables us then to work out what C is equal to, okay? So you can take that minus four thirds over to the side, and that what C will equal to there. So that means that C, will equal to, um, what's that going to be, 10 thirds, yeah? Okay, just by taking that over, it becomes a plus, and then we work it, we've got a calculator rod, and we've got C, then we will got C to be 10 thirds. So that means that we've actually got a particular solution. So Y will equal to two, bracket X cubed minus three minus X, and we know, of course, then the constant is 10 thirds. So we've actually solved the differential equation and we've got y in terms of 